Hello and welcome to this quick recap on AD or administrative distance. To demonstrate how admin distance influences the routing table, we will advertise three routes from Sheffield to Leeds. These three routes here. So we'll advertise 192.168.1.0/24 and 2.0/24 via the IBGP protocol and we'll advertise the 0.0/24 via EIGRP and IBGP. So let's make sure that the leads can see all of our routes. So let's take a look at the, um, the BGP table. This shows all the routes that BGP knows in the lead router. So we can see that we've received um, all of the routes from Sheffield as the top three here. So that's great, they've all been received. Now let's take a look to see if um, the one EIGRP route has also been received um, by this router. And that was the zero, 00 route, so that's this one here, which has been received as well. Again, that's great, it's exactly what we wanted. But these aren't the routing table. So each routing protocol has a different default administrative distance which acts as like a tiebreaker to see which protocols route gets added to the routing table uh, where, where the lower AD is better. So let's have a look at the routing table itself. Okay, cool. And we can see the three routes have um, all made it into the routing table as we'd expect. But they've made it in there using different protocols. So we can see that the routes that have got no competition, which were these two, so they were just advertised by RPGP, they've made it into the routing table using BGP. So the B on the left hand side of, uh, of the route, you can see the legend is BGP. And we know it's IBGP because the default AD of, BG, of IBGP rather is 200. So they didn't have any competition, those two routes. They just went straight into the routing table as IBGP routes with an AD of 200. But because the top route, 192.168.00/24, did have competition, we find that it didn't get put into the routing table as a BGP route. Instead, we've got a D here, which is EIGRP. So why did EIGRP beat the IBGP route? And again, it's all to do with the AD. Lower is better, 90 beats 200. So as long as you remember that the lower the better when it comes to the routing table, then you can't go too far wrong with administrative distance. I hope that helped.